Hello guys, Crispy and welcome back to another video. Today my friends, I'm gonna be testing the RX 517 Horizon Zero Dawn, as you can see right there, beautiful, beautiful game that one is. We're running of course the latest drivers from AMD, which are actually optimized for Horizon, and uh, this one is the Gigabyte M1 or MI version of the card. I overclocked it to 1320 megahertz on the core clock, not a big deal, it, it's up from 1244 megahertz because it's a stock version of the card. I am running it with Ryzen 7 3700X and 16 gigs of RAM. You don't need the Ryzen 7, of course, if you're running an RX 570, you'll get the same FPS with something like a Ryzen 3 1200 overclocked or a Ryzen 3 3100. Um, I think the 3100 is more of a like safe bet <laughs> there, I guess. But the game only utilizes four cores and four threads, so you should be fine with a four core CPU that's fast enough. This is also the 8 gigabyte model of the GPU, and you can see that on low settings, it's actually going over four gigs of VRAM utilization there and we're going to be playing here at 1080p resolution as you can see right there with the favor performance or low settings, uh, original or medium settings, favor quality or high settings and ultimate quality or ultra settings. Starting off with the favor performance settings, let's do this my friends. As you can see this is going to be a very smooth experience here, not like the 1050 Ti yesterday, this one is getting like what 25 more FPS than that card let's start counting the fps over here friends and let's just take a stroll around this little area of the map here this little portion of it because um the benchmark run for this game is actually kind of broken, it just stutters way too much and I don't feel like the game actually stutters that much. So don't go by the benchmark run, uh, it also gets pretty much the same FPS on average as this little run that I do over here. So we should be fine about that and uh, yeah, as you can see guys, the 570, if you want to play on low settings and if you want 60 FPS, this is the way to go. The game still looks pretty, uh, which is very interesting interesting like even the textures look pretty of course we're actually utilizing five gigabytes of vram right now so if you have the four gig model of the 570 you might see a few less fps maybe like three or four less fps and um, but just make sure you have 16 gigs of ram because if you don't oh boy oh boy i'm screwed i'm screwed uh, i need to go i need to get out of here friends oh boy okay okay all right the good thing that i'm playing on the easiest difficulty as always can i actually take them out okay maybe i can uh, yes okay all right let's just try it oh my god what the hell i didn't see this one uh, oh my gosh okay okay this is fine this is fine we can do this guys Oh yes, all right, there we go guys, it's much easier to control your aim with uh, 60 FPS than 30. What is this? Oh, quick save, I, I don't care about that. Let's go, let's keep on moving over here, friends. This looks amazing on low, as I told you. It's still, it's, it's very, very playable, obviously. I'm gonna take out a few more of these guys, and then we're gonna do medium, okay? Maybe I'm, I'm gonna do medium, like, right away. All right, I shouldn't be here, guys, I shouldn't be here, come on, oh boy! Holy crap. All right, then we're good. We're fine. Everything is okay. Can you run faster, please? God damn it. I forget that you don't hold shift to run in this game. You actually just tap it. I guess this is kind of it for the very low settings or the low settings, actually. There's no very low settings preset, really. At 1080p, yep, it runs pretty well, guys. Uh, what can I say? 61 FPS average, 52 1% lows. The stutters are almost gone, actually, coming from the 1050 Ti that I tested yesterday. Uh, yeah, this is performing way better probably because we do have eight gigs of vram in this one so it doesn't really stutter as much and now it's raining and it's not beautiful for thumbnails anymore god damn it why do you have to do this to me game oh man right anyways i'm gonna hide here and we're gonna go ahead and do medium settings this time around uh, impressive performance isn't it guys of course it's not a 60 plus fps experience even on low but the game looks beautiful anyways and it's it's playable at 30 fps so you shouldn't have a problem playing with this okay so let's just start counting our fps i'm not sure if the rain is more intensive and whatnot but uh, let's do this uh, there is a little bit of motion blur but i think it's 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 tolerable i i'm not gonna disable it right now uh, and it doesn't really affect your fps anyways so yep okay here we go 
we're getting pretty decent FPS. I was expecting a little bit more, to be honest. Maybe it's the rain, I don't know. But uh, yeah, just, just expect, in worst case scenario, I guess, when it's raining, you can get 40 plus FPS still. So that's not a bad uh, experience here whatsoever. These are like the PS4 graphics, I think, because the game says it's the original graphics. So I guess it's, it's just how the PS4 and PS4 Pro run this game maybe the ps4 pro runs it at a high resolution of course but yeah this is very very good looking of course if it wasn't for the rain it would be amazing because we, we will see those lens flares and stuff like that and it really looks beautiful <laughs> this game swim faster yes let's go all right there we go okay i'm gonna take out a few of those watchers right there or at least try to yeah can we do this okay Oh my god, I missed. Okay, one down. And get over here. You saw me. Come on. Come my way. All right, there we go. Okay, oh my gosh. Oh my god, I missed. Okay, I can't miss. All right, good stuff. Good stuff, friends. Again, I gotta emphasize this. The game is completely playable on... A 30 fps okay it was actually made to run at 30 fps because of the consoles so if you aren't getting 60 fps it's no big deal really at least not for me okay i can tolerate 30 fps just fine in single player titles and i would much rather have these visuals then play on low settings with 60 fps so uh, yeah it's a good trade-off i think in this one of course if it was a game like call of duty warzone or something like that i wouldn't play at the low settings uh, at the medium settings actually gosh damn it there's a lot of them right there oh, there's one coming for me okay all right there we go buddy i need to craft more arrows actually and i don't remember how to do it maybe i do wait a second uh do i just click yeah okay it's very easy good stuff good stuff all right there we go we got a ton of loot right here and i am not really sure what i'm doing to be honest uh, am i supposed to be afraid of these things i don't even know guys okay when will it stop raining friends i have no idea i really want to see some sun because this game is so beautiful oh god oh god okay okay all right holy crap that looks good though okay there we go Oh man, I love these graphics, guys. It stopped raining, guys. It stopped raining, finally. And we're getting kind of the same FPS still. Oh boy. Oh, this is a lot of them. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, guys. So the rain actually dropped our FPS by around 5. So yeah, you can expect like around 50 FPS without rain at the medium settings or original settings, whatever you want to call it. Um, and what the heck, guys? This game's just so beautiful, man. Oh, I love it but yeah as you can see 50 fps right there not bad at all guys on medium whenever it's not raining so uh, worst case scenario you're gonna get like five less fps than this so yep pretty good stuff guys on medium settings i'm gonna i'm gonna stop it right there and let's do now the uh, high settings as you can see right there apply that by the way uh, if you have the four gigabyte model of this card you can see that of course we are going well above four gigs of vram utilization you will need more ram whenever you run out of vram the game actually starts using system ram as vram i'm just gonna i'm just gonna disable motion blur because it's quite noticeable right now uh, but as i was saying you will need like 16 gigs of ram if you have the 4 gig model and we saw that with the 1050 ti for example yesterday okay let's just start counting our fps over here open open weapon wheel why why would i want to open my weapon wheel can i craft this no okay anyways let's just keep on moving friends as you can see it drops into the 30s right now the game looks i can tell like a little bit of a difference in graphics actually Actually, but I will be able to tell it at 1440p much better because I'm running a 1440p panel so 1080p doesn't really look as sharp as it could but you know what this isn't too bad this this looks amazing you know on high there's like a little bit more ambient occlusion and shadows and stuff like that uh, I'm not sure about the textures they, they really looked good on medium anyway so <laughs> even if you're playing on low settings the textures look great so so yeah, just, yeah, this game looks awesome, man. And we are utilizing 7.1 gigabytes
points of VRAM right now. 7.2. Oh my gosh, that is insane. Oh yeah, look at those lens flares, guys. That was what I'm talking about. Uh, I can't see them anymore. Gosh damn it. But that looks beautiful, doesn't it, guys? Okay, so this is a little town, city, whatever. Uh, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I don't care about the weapon wheel. Okay, just ca can you please get out of my screen? Oh my gosh, tab, tab. I'm holding tab. Okay, I'm, I'm into the map, guys. Our FPS are insane and it's ruining everything and I can't still get rid of that thing, so... Okay, I got rid of it finally, guys. Let's start counting our FPS once again here at high settings. Okay, oh boy, this is bad. Uh, oh, there's a lot of them. Uh, they just don't care about me sometimes. Woo, 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 woo. Just chill, buddy. What the heck are you doing? Okay, everything is okay, guys. Oh my gosh, look at them. Okay. One down, two down. Oh, 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 nope, you're not gonna get me. Not like that. Oh, 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 look at them. What the hell? How do they not, like, die, uh, disassemble or something? Okay, everything is fine, my friends. Ah, oh, yes. The beautiful FPS, my friends. I, I love this. I love this experience. I, you might say that this game is not well optimized, and maybe it isn't, but you know what? It's not stuttering whatsoever here on the 5A, 570, actually. And it just proves that you actually need uh, 8 gigs of VRAM if you want to play this game smoothly. And those of you that are experiencing stutters, uh, first of all, install your game on an SSD and not the hard drive, if you can, of course. And second of all, well, you just need a, an 8GB card if you want to play this game. Even on low settings, it goes over 4 gigs. so... Okay. What the? What was that? What the heck was that, guys? Alright, this one is a little bit uh, different, I guess? These aren't cheap. Uh, when it rains, it will probably drop into like the mid-30s sometimes. So, not really a big deal. It's still very playable, very good experience. The game looks beautiful, as always. And let's just go ahead and do the Ultra settings, finally! Ultimate settings, disable motion blur once again, yes, and here we go. Can we get playable FPS, friends? I think we can. Maybe in the rain it will drop into the low 30s, uh, maybe high 20s even, because we're now getting 31. Uh, I guess it's still playable, this is still the experience that we got with the 1050 Ti, by the way, with the same 1% lows and averages, so yeah, but that one was, was playing on medium settings, this one is on ultra, of course. <laughs> Alright, and I said it was playable with the 1050 Ti, so it's still playable like this, obviously, but I will just avoid it, because the FPS on medium settings are just way too good. Oh boy, what the hell are you doing? Why did... Oh my gosh, I might need to increase the difficulty oh gosh I don't have more uh, things okay good stuff I got this good thing I pick up every single thing I come across <laughs> I think I managed to make the machines uh, afraid of me so did I defeat the game already <laughs> oh man okay so 1% lows are at 25 but of course we haven't seen the FPS actually drop from 30 yet it's just because of those uh, frame time spikes and frame rate spikes that you see in the graph uh, those were also present with the 1050 Ti so I guess if you get closer to 30 FPS the game just tends to spike a little bit in the frame time department it's not really a big deal because to be honest i can't really feel those spikes so um i would be perfectly fine playing like this still uh, but it does drop from 30 fps as you can see right there so um i don't really recommend ultra settings with the rx 570 guys it's not really as smooth of an experience because it drops from 30 just play on high if you really really want the most beautiful graphics you can get with still playable FPS of course because I think the, the game also looks pretty much the same on ultra and high like every other game out there you know you just shouldn't play on ultra settings like most games aren't really worth it the trade-off between visuals and performance you know so oh come on okay okay all right guys yeah, we're fine right now all right yes we are good 
It's a little bit more difficult to aim with 30 something FPS actually, so you might want to avoid it. Okay, yep. Yeah, that's it for the video friends. Thank you so much for watching this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will hopefully see you in the next one. As always, love you all. Bye-bye.